for such opportunity. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rohit Yadav and I'm going to speak on the topic nasal floor engagement and canine bypass in corticobasal implantology. So this lecture will be more clinically oriented and has been made keeping the beginners in mind. So now just a brief recall of what corticobasal implantology is meant for and that is immediate, uh, typical immediate function loading and how to achieve that by, use, by using the existing or native bone of the pair patient in the best possible way. And for that, we need proper training, proper conceptual thinking, skill, and obviously experience. Now coming straight to nasal floor engagement, which means the placement of apical threads of implants into the cortical floor of the nose for encourage. But why the nasal floor engagement is so important? Guys, uh, as we all know, in corticobasal implantology, we have to engage the typical cortical bone. But guys, we don't find the typical cortical bone everywhere in our jaw, especially in maxilla. So we have to select those specific areas in which cortical bone is inevitably present. And the nasal floor is one such area, which come under uh, second cortical and that does not undergo morphological changes. So it is stable, reliable and load bearing area for corticobasal implantology. This diagrammatic representations show the second cortical area of nasal floor marked as green. So, but uh, to be able to achieve the nasal floor engagement, we should have a proper thorough command over the procedure. We should uh, have a knowledge of uh, anatomical landmarks and its variations. Okay, uh, so friends, my suggestion is invest some time in recalling the anatomy and its variation. Observe, uh, keep a skull ready at your place and observe it deeply because this will help you to think and imagine three-dimensionally because corticobasal implantology is based on 3D or 4D based, 4, 3D or 4D based implantology, unlike conventional implant that works under one or two planes. So these sciences are different game altogether. Now coming to the exact technique of nasal flow engagement. Friends, you won't find exact technique any, in any textbook. It's purely an experience based approach. Okay, our mentors have gone through this and they have passed their knowledge to us. So please listen carefully. Now, first of all, we have to analyze and op uh, evaluate the operating site by palpation for soft and hard tissue texture, for overall width of alveolar ridge or angulation or inclination of maxillary ridge. Now after evaluation, we have to decide the point of insertion and direction of the drill. So there, there can be two scenarios, heel site or immediate extraction site. In heel site, uh, the point of insertion will be slightly palatal to the crest of the ridge and the direction would be along the inclination of maxillary ridge. But in case of immediate extraction site, the insertion point will be uh, on the palatal wall of the extraction socket. And to be precise, it will be five to six mm coronal from the uh, apex of extraction socket. And now frequently in your clinical practice, you will come across knife edge ridges in meh or cases. So in such cases, you don't have to follow the inclination or angulation of ridge. You have to go in such a way that the palatal wall of the socket, palatal wall of the ridge will be your buccal plate. And you have to go more vertically so that you will get a stable bone throughout the way. And implant can be inserted in desired direction. Now, starting with drilling procedure, first of all, we have to, uh, we have to start with pilot drill and uh, using one is to one handpiece with 